KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090, Alabama license number 11120. Good morning. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November 4th, 2018. I am meteorologist Scott Martin sitting in for Brian Peters. We'll have rain return to central Alabama later today and conditions continue to look favorable for a significant severe weather event on late Monday and into Tuesday. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Taking a look outside at 6.45 a.m., we see that nearly all of Alabama has clear skies to start off with, but we see the activity just off to our west in Arkansas and Louisiana that will be moving our way later today. A wide variety of temperatures around the area this morning with readings coming in, coming in as low as the upper 30s in some spots and as warm as the lower 50s in others. Birmingham was one of those spots in the lower 50s, sitting at 52 degrees. Temperatures around the nation this morning are ranging in the 30s to the 70s, with some mid to upper 20s out there over parts of the four corner states and up into Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming. And taking a quick peek at the tropics, all is quiet for now and nothing is expected to form throughout the next five days. Alright, time to take a look at the models. We'll start off with the 06Z run of the GFS valid today at 12 p.m. We're starting off the day with clear skies, but we'll have showers beginning to enter the western portions of the area today, just at or around the noon hour, and we could see some shower activity in the Birmingham area starting around 4 to 6 p.m. No thunder with today's activity, but much of central Alabama will have a decent chance of getting some rain, ranging from roughly 30 to 60 percent with the higher chances being for the northern half of the area. Today's highs will be in the mid-60s to the lower 70s throughout the area, with overnight lows tonight in the 50s. Throughout the day on Monday, we'll continue to have mainly cloudy skies and a small chance of a few isolated to scattered showers and maybe a thunderstorm. Just remember that any activity that forms during the daylight hours will not be the main event and unfortunately, there looks like there will not be enough around to stabilize the atmosphere before the evening hours. Afternoon highs will be in the mid to upper 70s for most of central Alabama. Forecast models continue to show a setup for a potentially significant severe weather event late on Monday and into the morning hours on Tuesday, with a strong jet setting up close by and an open wave trough that will go negative tilt. We still see conditions coming together for all modes of severe weather. Damaging winds in excess of 70 miles per hour, large hail, and some tornadoes. A few of those tornadoes have the potential to be significant long track tornadoes. The main window for severe storms in central Alabama will be from roughly 10 p.m. Monday night until 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, with the chance that a few storms may linger around as late as 9 a.m. for the extreme eastern locations in the area. As of 2 a.m. this morning, the Storm Prediction Center continues to have the northwest quarter of Alabama in an enhanced risk of severe storms on Monday evening through Tuesday morning, with much of the rest of north and central Alabama defined in a slight risk. For Tuesday, the eastern half of the state is in a marginal risk, with a good portion of the east central and northeastern parts in a slight risk. Taking a look at the severe parameters, we see that winds are still going to be backed out of the southeast and then quickly veering out of the south at 5,000 feet or at the 850 millibar level and out of the west-southwest at 16,000 feet or at the 500 millibar level. We'll have a good bit of surface base instability available with values in the 1,200 to 2,000 joules per kilogram range along with an ample amount of helicity. The significant tornado parameter values on this latest run of the high-res NAM shows values approaching 3.0 over parts of central Alabama. All of this is showing us that we need to be prepared for all modes of severe weather. There is plenty of shear and instability for rotating updrafts along with a jet of stronger winds at the 500 millibar level giving us the dynamic support for severe storms. 
Once the threat moves out of the area on Tuesday afternoon, conditions will quickly begin to improve and skies will begin to clear out, and mostly clear skies can be expected by Tuesday evening and into the overnight hours. Highs will top out in the lower 70s to the lower 80s from northwest to southeast, with overnight lows dropping into the mid-40s to the mid-50s. On Wednesday, models have changed from when I prepared the email forecast for the blog last night, as now it will feature a mix of sun and clouds with a chance of a few isolated to scattered showers. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 60s to the mid-70s. An unsettled weather pattern will continue for Thursday and Friday as we'll have a chance of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms mainly through the afternoon hours on Thursday and coming to an end during the late morning to the early afternoon hours on Friday. The good news is that the activity should be out of here in enough time for the high school football games on Friday evening. Unfortunately, we will have to watch this event as a few stronger storms look to be possible at this time. Thursday's highs will be in the mid-60s to the lower 70s then turning cooler on Friday with highs in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. Saturday and Sunday look to be decent days at this point, with a good bit of sunshine and highs in the 60s on both days. That is all for the Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day today. James Spann will have the next video for you bright and early on Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin, sending a quick happy anniversary shout out to my wife Amy. Have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.